I'm Sakot. So in the first video, I have shown about how to coding the login with the Google very simple. So now we will move on to the next feature is how to log in with the open application for the tool with the Facebook. So you can see here I have set up the uh, open open application with Google and then for the Facebook I will also more to set up more set up the uh, open application in the Facebook. Firstly you can go to you must uh, create the new user Facebook and here is the Facebook account I have created so now I will go to the Facebook developer you can see you go to the page with the go to the site developer.facebook.com so here uh, after we go to the website you can click to my app and here I don't I don't have any uh, app for open uh, open notification, and I click to create app. Yeah, for the create app here, I mean, uh, uh, for the other, for the click to the other because I must auto to my must uh, open notification for my the local host click to next here yeah. and I will choose the type for none yeah not uh, any feature click to next and I will uh, name this app is uh, my Facebook uh, web yeah and the email is my uh, email I have created here yeah, and I click to create uh, yeah, I will create a uh, application. So, uh, because the Facebook is not allowed, I will change to my app application and click to create app. And I uh, import the password. Here, you can see after I create the app. The app has been deployed and I go to the setting for click to the basic. And here you can see after we create the app, you can see the app ID and app secrets. And also we click to copy. We copy the app ID and we go to uh, go to uh, application dot the YML to config the client ID and client secrets of the Facebook. And here I will also new the registration ID is Facebook. Here and client ID I paste it here and for the client secret it here I go to client secret and copy it here. So now after that we will move, I mean, uh, run the project. So you can see project has been started uh, successfully. So now I will go to the local host. And so, uh, so here you can see after we setting it here, we can uh, we can here we can see and we set the chain so now we will go to the login page here and you can see after we also config with the registration for the facebook you can see the facebook has the facebook and the google have been deployed here also we can so now we can go to the click to the Facebook. So you can see here uh, the my web application is requesting access to because uh, we have created the web my web application and then we click to continue at the uh, Facebook name. 
And you can see here, there is an ID. Uh, so here we have successfully uh, logged in with uh, Facebook. You can see the name, we need to create the email, we so called tutorial, and the ID is yeah. So now you can uh, ask new attention is the sun viewer. They send you a uh, attested, it tested. Yeah. I will ask new the they send you a uh, hello. I will know. Because I use the Microsoft app, not the Google Crop. And I click to S. You can see the they send you a uh, have been successful for the Attention here, and I will delete here. You can see here is ID, and here is the uh, uh, name with so create and the uh, email. Right here. Also, we can we can uh, because we have uh, up, yeah we have config very basic and very easy. And uh, also we can. You can return the string or return the string. Respond ft and string here. Here return to welcome to my base and plus we plot with the last name. You can see and copy respond ft. Yeah. So I will uh, restart. Now I will. Here yeah, you can see for the get name we will go to for the uh, with get ID. And now, so I will uh, reverse this. So also we also can log in with the Google at the same. Here you can see I will add to the login and for the Google here you can see you can sign in with the Google or sign in with the Facebook and add you to the exit account. You can see here the Google. The Google here, the picture for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, here for the some property and for the email and for the name. Also, uh, also I can uh, I can help you to get the you can get the token asset token in the Google at here. So I will go to the Google Cloud the console. Yeah. And for the Google Cloud Console, I will uh, change to this uh, account. It's the same. It's the same here. You can see for here is a circle tutorial, and the next one I will choose. Uh, I will choose for the uh, for the circle tutorial one. It is the same. You can see circle tutorial one. You can uh, sign with uh, any. Uh, Google account or Facebook account. And now for the yeah, I mean change for the uh, for the Z account for to support tutorial. And I click to my web app my one. And now here you can see you can see that here is a uh, authorized direct UI, and I mean. Open for postman, and for postman here you can click to new accept token and new the request. Yeah, for the new request here we got uh, we choose the authorization for the uh, open authentication version two, and for the Token name, you can change the name, my token, or anything else you want. 
and run high in authorization code and go back UI. Uh, if you set up for the red port man, also we can set up with the with the set up with the the the, the, the uh, authorized uh, UI. Yeah, I will copy paste here and for the uh, authentication UI here and accept token URL here and for client ID and client secret we will copy the client ID right here and I will paste and for the client secret here I will copy and paste right here and for the scope is email and profile and I will clear the cookie and now I click to get new asset token you can see here is a here is a here for the the language I will change for the list here you can see I will import the uh, uh, import the gmail account tutorial gmail.com and I input the password up here and and you can see I will click to allow and you can see here is a set token uh, we have I have uh, less a set token here and I will I will uh, here is an ID token for the token is an ID token here. I will go to the ZWT ZWT dot io and I will decode the uh, token of the Google you can see here here is the token of Google I have paid here and here is the payload for the issue for the API and for the sub for the email is the tutorial and email verify equal to because because it is an email and verified by the Google and here is a hash and if it's here the signature and the algorithm and time is reality and you can see that I have a sound view how to log in with the Google or how to log in with the Facebook and it is very simple so Select in select so select video in the I will show you how to get a set token in the Java with the Springboard. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.